know who's next. Well, Musket's gonna send somebody over. Scrattle's playing nice today, honestly. Scrattle's playing very well. You don't just beat Musket mm. when you're playing. Ex yeah, ex like we were saying, like very consistent. So Brad, like having consistent, like outplaying, like, consistently outplaying Musket is yeah a nice one to see from him. And Your like, set was also very close. Yeah, Brad. yeah, he was playing really well, and like actually he was full hopping a lot and really. Yeah, picking his spots really well. Yeah. And finding grabs really well. He just finds these um, oh, knockdowns in really weird positions. Like, just a random up smash, random there, yeah. or a grab, and just gets you into knockdown. I'm just going to adjust the camera real quick. Yep. Pretty nice with that. Brad destroying this uh, CPU Captain Falcon. I'm not entirely sure if Mudflores is going to play Captain Falcon, but if he is, I'm sure Brad's going to win. Brad is indeed the king. The king of SA. Alright, starting Battlefield. Usually, Sheiks don't get the opportunity to start in the stage anymore because spaces have gotten better at banning the stage. But Scrattles, I guess, doesn't really mind it. Nice heal grab by, by Florets. Scrattles called doing nothing. Florets takes the first stock, bit scrappy, both players just kind of throwing moves at, e at each other. Good tech chase on the platform. And now both players back to playing neutral. Florets is an unsafe dash attack, but doesn't get punished for it. Another one actually. But he has managed to get 27% off of it. Three dash attacks. Yeah, this is extremely close. Both players haven't really been able to get an extended punish yet. This crowd gets that stock. Good for their up smash. Oh, I think Flores could have just jumped down and fared the five box. But just kept falling down. Back to even. Florets can't CC Fox in there anymore, so Scrattle should have that. Um, can just throw out any move he wants to, really. Just living. Missing yet another edge guard. Usually he doesn't miss this many. Scrattle's having really good recoveries as well. Flores getting something started, gets the up smash, doesn't connect with the fair, but Scrattles is, is at high percent now. Both players just one hit from killing each other. Oh, misses, the, misses the dash attack and that's it. Dash attack does not go far enough, also the hitbox is slightly behind the hurtbox, so it's also very unsafe in addition to just not being a very good move to throw out in neutral. 
Loretz takes some defense on Dream. That would have gone back to Dream to Battlefield, but this stage also good. You can tilt through the platform this week. It can mess up uh, Fox's movement as well. Shadows gets a quick stock, double shine off stage. Who won that first one? Uh, Scrattles. Cool. Go. Cool, edge guard. Cool. Yeah, I was expecting two. another down smash there. Yep. Oh well. I don't think, um, I don't think Flareath is playing too great today. He seems to, um, not really be playing that much neutral this this set. Kind of just throwing out attacks and hoping they hit. Oh, there we go. Yes. No needles. No. It just falls all the way off. You, you need to just yeah, yeah. jump up and follow the Firefox. Yeah, he probably wanted something, but it just it just seemed like a yeah, really big flub. Yeah, nothing came out. Good combo. Hey, there. there you go. Nice. That's Off stage it. and gets the edge guard. Well, well he's actually even this up though. Yep. I'm Very like clean combos. Once you get the dash stack knocked down against Fox, it's, that's Florats' time to shine. This and, uh, yeah, this stage, and I think Stadium, honestly, are very scary Florats stages. Stadium as well. I feel like, just because the transformations are very good for him, just, yep. on, just like from what I've kind of experienced. He's very good at using transformations in a weird yeah. way. Like, he just puts out hitboxes where you don't expect them to be on transformations. Because, like, he knows the stage better than any other player. Bit of a scuffle. Brad gets out on top. Yeah, overall, Brad's combos have been like good enough to get him a lot of mileage. Yep. Like, and Floretz has not been hitting too many edge guards enough to yeah. settle the distance. I feel like that F smash was a fall through fair. Yeah. Ooh, ooh! That was actually FOD coming to save the day there. Mm -hmm. The friction on the grass pushed Floretz back to the ledge because um, they were both occupying the same spot. Yeah, about the friction on the grass. You know if Sheik lands there with her up B and Fox trains, you can actually act before, before the uh, Fox can. Because it like pushes you up a little bit. Ooh! Lurets Clutch takes rats. that game. Clutch Rats. That was so good. good Chad Rats taking game two. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Um, ooh. Wait, there's a slope? It's not about the friction, it's about the slope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that that was a slope. I thought it was... Um, it's like a little bit higher grass. than the rest of the stage, I believe. Oh. Yes! That's playing Marth. How good is his Marth? He's been trying to use Marth lately. I think uh, after talking to me about it, he kind of wants to get one going by OHN time this year, so like mid-year, I guess. Yep. Um, honestly, Pretty understandable for the stage, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, Honestly, it's not too bad. Um, it's just a matter of... Uh, Florets knowing the turns he, he can and can't take. Um, so overall, he's got pretty good instincts on uh, when to use smash attacks and when to crash cancel and stuff. Yep. Um, and he's generally a floaty player, just in general. Oh, but this is very well placed aerials as well. Yeah, yeah. Well placed moves in general. There you go. And like, he's not gonna really. I don't think he's gonna mess up as many edge guards with Martha Fox in comparison yep. to Sheik Best Fox. I think he's a bit easier. He has a bit easier time edge guarding with Marth. I think playing Marth on FD against Fox is probably the better decision anyway. Yeah. Sheik FD versus Fox is. You have to play tough. really hard. Yeah, you have to you kind have of to choose the Fox or outplay him consistently. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you're going to see too many extended combos from Flow Rats, but um, it's just going to be a matter of getting Brad off stage and like yep. making sure Brad doesn't have the defense to. You know, survive the scuffles. You can find a quick tipper or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Get him off stage. He hasn't got one yet. Yeah. Uh, this, all these games on stream have actually been mostly pretty quick. Yeah. I'd say like the Ruben Musket's been the longest so far, but um, I don't know. Players Ooh. in SA just like to run at Ooh. each other. Nice air dodge. Brad's kept this stock in his yeah. control Brad so well. And yeah, it looks like Florad's uh. Not really feeling nice. as comfortable on Marth just yet. Aww. But it's still even though. One stop a piece. Just, yeah, just move around a bit, Florats. Oh no, comfortable. he got stuck in his grab. He was trying to grab and got the light shield up instead. I thought he jumped. Um, no, there yeah. was one part where Fox hit a light shield on, uh, oh. on the Marth. If he got the grab there at the corner, it could have been a stop. Right, I thought, yeah, I thought Florats jumped. Florats staying Marth though. Ready? 
I'm not sure if Flareats has ever used Uncle Punch in his life. I don't I get think the feeling not. Stage uh, is good against Fox as well. But we'll see. Flareats just trying to look for some quick tippers, I guess, or some grabs at the ledge. I think Flareats' Moth isn't too bad on this stage. Yeah. This space is. But, like, it's such bullshit for, um, for Fox, honestly. So, uh, Straddle's trying to go for the custom edge guard, but doesn't oh. get it. Oh! Oh, uh, reversal opportunity. Some weird Randall shenanigans. Yeah, they're both over now. kind of just barely missing each other. Alright, don't fall for this, Florets. Yeah, he just needs to, he needs to wave dash out. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's uh, looking for these down tilts in the wrong spot. Yeah, Straddle just jumps over them and hits them over there. Like, nice neck. I just Flores trying to move out. Yeah, and Braz combo game's like pretty good on floaties. He's consistent. Like he, yeah, yeah. he doesn't get super extended, like extended combos, but he gets like 40, 50 percent on Yeah, he's playing fast enough today that he can actually follow up. Yep. Oh, a couple misses there. Nice read. Scout is up 4-2, looking quite healthy this game. This is hard, actually, you now for Flores. That's, yeah, that's as much as you can really do in that spot. Yep. Alright, alright, he'll take right, it. Stratos gives him one for free. It's not too over for Jack just yet, but he hasn't... I don't feel like he's ever found his footing as Marth just yet. He hasn't been able to find any juicy hits, I think. Yeah, or like, like small or, hits. Or like a big grab yeah. or anything. Like, Brad has just been over him for the majority of the game. There you go, Mind that's the Dave. Counter. Nice. Gets it. Fair. Oh, up B. No! Uh, he missed the angle. You could have fared. Could have like, fared. You really could have. Uh, I know. I mean, the up B wasn't bad as well, but he just yeah. didn't get enough of the uh, drift. Oh, there we go. Alright, now he's starting to swing, and now Scrattles is going to be a bit scared. Yep. Trying to do the deck a bit. Oh, that could have been it. Brad wants to end this right now. Oh, oh, okay. He's gonna this let is actually Flareats kind of scary. Live. Oh, he just don't he wants the don't. smash. Flareats has to not do anything too committal right now. He just needs to find. No, you should have grabbed. Definitely. Oh, but he that was a grab. grab. That was such a grab. That's rough. He's got to make that three-one. Oh well. Ah, oh, well. good try. I think we're up actually. It'd be winners finals because we played the two losers quarters now. Makes sense. All right. Good luck. Here we go. Yeah, good luck, mate. Microphone's up, gamers. Starting to get cool in this room, actually. David Nang's up next versus your boy.